The opioid crisis has affected thousands of families here in New York, and Saratoga County is changing the way they respond to it. Yeah, the county unveiling a new uh, family treatment court, hoping to connect people to resources instead of just sending them off and punishing them. Houston ABC's Zion Dakota explains how it works. The relaunched family treatment court in Saratoga County aims to help litigants coming through the system, especially those struggling with addiction, get the services they need to come out better on the other side. Litigants or program graduates, as the court calls them, like Mary. The rough and tumble road of addiction caused her to lose custody of her son and eventually her daughter. Mary's court appointed parent advocate Karen spoke on her behalf. When I had my court date on Zoom in that small hospital room, the judge said I could not keep her and this broke my heart. Then a wonderful thing happened in my life. It was that Family Treatment Court, or FTC, was offered to me and I accepted. Mary says that made all the difference. Aided by Schenectady County's FTC, she was able to overcome addiction and get back custody of her daughter. Now she wants to support Saratoga's FTC program. Assemblywoman Mary Beth Walsh, who was a family court prosecutor and attorney, is a big advocate. Well, she sounded like so many people that I've worked with in family court over the years. You know, somebody that really genuinely loves her child, but had an addiction that was just, had overtaken her life, and she was really asking for help. And fortunately, she got the help she needed and was able to be reunited with her child. Judge Amy Nossman spearheaded the Saratoga relaunch. Those individuals that are suffering and are, do not have the support of the professional team, they often don't even make it to the courthouse. The judge says FTC differs from the traditional family court method because access to state services is completely voluntary. Nussman says statistics show why the court pays special attention to addiction treatment. The Article 10 child abuse and neglect petitions that are filed with our court, 60% of those petitions are, contain allegations of substance use. Overall, Assemblywoman Walsh underscores what she says is the goal of the court method. That the court is not always you know, an instrument for dividing families, but it really has the goal of trying to put families back together again. Judge Nussman hopes the court will help at least 20 litigants over the course of the next year. Reporting in Boston Spa, Zion Dakota News 10, ABC. Let's hope it does. Thank you, Zion.